guys, welcome back to Recovo's Crochet Corner. I am Crystal. Hopefully I'll be able to get through this quick. Um, I have a lot of stuff, but not a lot of whips. Um, what to start with, what to start with. Okay, so what I will do is I'll start off with some yarn that I purchased from Michaels. Um, not expensive. It was I think $2.99 a ball because it was on sale this past week. Uh, I was watching Lorel of the Dabbling Hook, and of course I can't find what I'm looking for because, you know, why would I be prepared? That doesn't make sense. Why be prepared? <laughs> Sorry, I'm annoyed with myself. There it is. Okay, now that I'm going to talk about her, I will talk about my finished object, and then I'll talk about the yarn that I got, which I am totally blaming on Rel. <laughs> So your fault, Rel. No, I'm just kidding. Um, all right. So uh, I got an email from Rel asking if I could do a quick pattern test for her. And I said, sure, no problem. I'd love to do a, pa a pattern test for her. I had no idea what it was, but I'm glad I said yes, because I am going to be making a hundred of these. So this is her octopus pattern. I haven't done a mouth. Uh, I was going to do one. I just haven't done one yet. Um... She had, or not had, has a video on her YouTube channel, which, so I'm going to link Rel down below. I'm probably not going to link that exact video. Let's be honest. I have a lot on my mind today and I'm not going to do that. I know I'm not going to, so I'm not going to say I'm going to do it. I will link her channel down below, but she had done originally a little octopus, a little teeny guy. So this is her new kind of updated cool version and the way she does the tentacles I guess are way different than before so definitely cool super super easy guys I did this in a, about an hour I was just having coffee and whipping this guy up this is the yarn that I got as a gift from Rose from Rose Likes Crochet I'll link Rose down in the description box everybody knows Rose anyway <laughs> but I will link her down in the description box I can't remember it I didn't I'm not prepared so obviously uh so normal you know my channel normal anyway um it was a ch it was yarn that she had sent to me a while back and i loved the color and i love the way it worked up so it's very 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 cute this was all worked in one piece super super fun super easy love this guy i'm planning on making more my daughter actually stole this and was playing with it and i had to go and search the house and find it anyway so i was watching rel and she Oh, and that's before I say that, um, I want to apologize to everybody. I have been watching a lot of YouTubers, but I have been watching it on my TV while I'm doing other things. We are, t um, I haven't been able to comment because I'm watching all of you guys on my TV. So know that I am watching, even though I am not commenting and I apologize for not commenting, but I just, if I can't watch it on the TV right now, I can't watch it. Long story short. I sent my kids back to school. It was a hard decision for me, but I decided to do that so that I could work different hours. That blew up in my face real quick. Um, one of my kids is home now, homeschooling until next week. Uh, there was a positive case of COVID in her class, so I regretted my decision instantly after sending them back to school, needless to say. So I am watching all of you guys. I'm just not able to comment at this moment because we have she's on my computer and all the tablets have been they're all other people's tablets so because of the whole scare of covid she has been tested we have not got the results back but we're i'm not touching other people's tablets um everybody's got their own thing i don't have one she's using my computer because it's easier for homeschooling so i'm not commenting on a lot of videos i apologize please know guys i am still supporting you all and i am still watching um okay so anyway long story short I was watching Rel and she was talking about the new yarns from Michaels and I work at Michaels and I didn't even notice these yarns. Why? I don't know, but I didn't. So they're the impeccable. So they're $2.99 regular $3.99, I think, but they were on for $2.99 and it's the impeccable speckle stripes. And I believe this is the exact same one she used or was it this one? I don't know. I got a bunch of them. So I got this one, which is colorway is am amethyst. So that's like a purple, pink, fuchsia pink in there. My color's off because I'm in my crochet room doing a quick video. Um, my color in here sucks. The next one I got was, if I can put my eyeballs on and read properly, colorway, lovely. 
So it's just basically reds. It kind of screams uh, Valentine's Day to me personally. Don't love this one, but I thought, hey, I'm going to get it. I'm probably just going to use it to make a bunch of those little guys. The next one, is it the same one? Yeah, same one, but it, because of the way it's hanked up, it looks like a whole different... Maybe I grabbed it because I thought it was a different... I don't know. It looks different than the other one. So these are the same colorway. Look how different they look. So that's probably why I grabbed this one because I thought it was different. Who knew? The next one I got is Impeccable Speckle. So the other one was Impeccable Speckle Stripes. This one is just Speckle. And it's just like a gray purple. Is it gray? I don't know. It's probably just a different hue of purple. And this one is just called Purple Bark. So it's just a different bunch of purples in there. It's actually really cute. I think it'll make some like a nice hat. I'm thinking. And then the other impeccable. Oh, this isn't even a new one. I just kind of got confused and bought it anyway. Well, whatever. Anyway, I'm not going to talk about the yardage because you guys know impeccable. It's been at Michael's forever. This is just regular impeccable. I guess I thought it was new, but it's not new. It's called charcoal tweed which i don't get because this is definitely black it's black which like speckles which i think is cool so that's my michael's yarn uh i am working on another pattern with baby yarn um the baby blanket yarn i will hopefully have it done this week and i will be able to show you guys and talk about that so the Wool Queen, as most of you know, I love the Wool Queen. I buy a lot of her stuff. She has a lot of stuff right now on clearance. So I actually found this stuff on clearance on her page. So I purchased it. It's um, it's just Burnett Super Value. Oops, sorry, Burnett. Burnett Super Value. This colorway is Redwood Heather. I don't have this one in my... It is a very nice red. It's coming in orange. It's not orange. It is like a deep, deep red really nice i got two of those and then i got two of the they're just black so i got two black because you can never have enough black yarn for like i like doing like outside you know um blankets or shawls i like to outline things in black a lot of the time so i got two black and then i bought three balls of um, james c barrett marble chunky and uh, I'm not seeing a colorway, like the color name. It has a color number, which is uh, 2562. And there is 341 yards per ball. So I got three of those guys. I'm just trying to check and see if this one's pretty. I love this color. So I definitely think this is cute. I got three of those guys. So that was my Wool Queen haul. What else? What else we got? Okay. Sorry, guys. I'm just trying to... I'm going to get this out of the way so I know I've talked about it. Next thing. I placed it. Oh, I also want to thank Crystal from Chronically Crochet. I did get your lovely Valentine's Day card. I am sorry I didn't um, reach out to you. I totally honestly forgot about it. I thought it was so beautiful. I put it somewhere and then when I was cleaning this morning, I found it again and I was like, oh, I totally forgot about that. So that card was very beautiful, very much appreciated, and I, I want to thank you. Um, next thing I got was I ordered from Gracie Creative, and she is on um, Etsy is where I, I shop for her bags. Uh, she also has an Instagram, which I just found... Um, so I will link her down below. Um, she is a Canadian. She is from, I believe it's Thunder Bay. Anyway, I will link her down below so you guys can check her out. So she had this project bag and it was called Oops Bag. Why it's an Oops Bag, I'm not sure. It is, I like it. So it's got the nice pattern there. It's got a nice bottom on it. It's got the drawstrings. And it's got a nice inside and it's got some pockets for your stuff. So I got this bag. I ordered this bag and then she sent me a little extra because this, I have bought a few bags from her. I would always recommend them because she does do, um, her proceeds are going to um, 
I'm having a brain fart today. I'm sorry, guys. But she does donate her proceeds to a good organization. It is all talked about on her um, Etsy shop. So you can check her out. So she sent me this cute little, little polka dot bag as a free gift for a thank you. Because I am a repeat customer. So this is cute. You can hang it up. It has a little kitty on there. I'm like, this is cute. So I'm probably going to give this to my daughter to play with. Um, so that was it from... Gracie Creative, and like I said, she's on Etsy and Instagram. So I will link them down below. Every channel, any person, anything I talk about during this, I will try hard to link everything down below. I also ordered a bag from Sandy from Crochet A's sister, and it's Charlene. And I think if I'm gonna say this wrong, probably Sandy, I'm sorry. Uh, uh, crying crow creations i will link the etsy shop down below because i suck at names but i have ordered other bags and of course i don't have one here to show you because i'm not organized but i actually am using it for socks i made a pair of j-hook crochet socks and i used it to hold the yarn and i actually have another pair on the go which is in another bag and i love her bags you should definitely check it out this one I wanted was a little drawstring one because I wanted to get it for my daughter so that she could keep her spare socks for school. And it's just a small little bag so it'll fit nicely in her backpack and she can put her spare socks in there and she can pull it so it stays. Because right now her socks are just all over her bag. So anyway, I saw this on the Etsy shop and I was like, ooh, this is a cute idea. And I like that it's cute. It's mushrooms. It's nothing crazy. So I got that one shipping was great it came really really fast uh what do i talk about next next i will talk about i placed an order to for the crochet surprise box i will not be getting it again it has nothing to do with the quality of what i got i enjoyed what i got i think it's awesome i am not angry in one at, at all okay I mean, that's not what this is it's just that i am uh i'm trying to kind of either not buy anything and then if I do do some I actually got roped into the knit crate again going down the knit crate rabbit hole thanks Jen <laughs> Jennifer from cinnamon stitches you all know her check her out if you don't well where have you been no I'm just kidding anyway check out Jennifer um so she is an ambassador for them so I joined up through her I'm going down the rabbit hole let's see how that works out so getting back to what I was talking about it's going to be a lot of the, this video. I apologize if this drives you nuts. I'm going to flip flop and talk and crazy and it is what it is. So I got the crochet surprise box. Um, it's cute. It comes with the pattern and the pattern for this one. I can't remember when I got this. I think I've been holding this for a couple weeks now. Uh, it's a gorgeous gathered wrap is the pattern. It came with four skeins of uh, Lion Brand Heartland yarn, and I'm not mad about it. The color is Capital Beef, is that, or Capital Reef. Yeah, Capital Reef. <laughs> I don't know where I got that one, but anyway. So they're like a light pink color, and I got four balls of that. So that was good. And there was also a thing of tea in there. Plus you get this booklet with the pattern. Plus, they even included, I don't know if I had to pay extra for this or if this is just something they did for me being a first-time purchaser. I have no idea. They sent me some hooks. So, I was incredibly impressed with the hooks. I think this was in there too, if I'm not mistaken. This was inside with a in a package. So, I got this bag to hold the hooks. And then I got these ergonomic, I think that's how you say that, hooks. So it goes all the way up to a size eight. So that is really cool. I was really overly impressed with it. It is not that I didn't like it, that I don't want to buy it again. I would totally recommend, I can't even remember the price. I know it was really, really cheap. So I would definitely, sorry, I'm getting a phone call the minute I'm, anyway. I would definitely recommend getting the crochet surprise box. I believe it was Seta that I kind of was watching and she was talking about it. So I was interested when I saw her talking about it. Definitely worth the money. Definitely something I would check into if you're interested. I would definitely go down there. Um, okay. Oh, I forgot. I bought another thing of yarn. See, I lied. From Michaels. I just got one and it's the Karen... 
uh, cotton ripple cakes because I wanted to make uh, Jennifer from Cinnamon Stitches has made a um, <laughs> a dish thing. I can't remember what it's called. My brain. I will link her down below anyway. You can go check her out. And I want to make the pattern that she did. And I saw this color. I don't know. I was drawn to this color. It is like orange, greens, yellows, and whites, and teals. I just loved the color so much that I had to get it. So most of you know this is 100% cotton. It's 491 yards. It's summer soft stripes is what is written on there. And the colorway is wild flowers. So I just had to get this to make her pattern. I will link it down below if I can remember. I did get some happy mail and again my daughter was playing with it so I had to go and search for it. Um, I had been uh, bought tickets for one of to Sin from Sin's Crafting World. I had bought tickets for her um, that thing she was doing for Sharon. I am horrible with names. I apologize guys but anyway I was one of the ones who got to, I won a gift. And the one I won was one of Sandy from Left is Right. Sandy from Left is Right Crochet. Um, I won her egg. So it did come in an egg. And as you can see, my daughter was playing with it. She couldn't wait two seconds. So she opened it. And inside is this, this cute little guy right here. So one of Octavia's friends is here. So that is really cool. Thank you so much again, Sandy, for sending that out. Um, so this guy's been hanging out in my daughter's room with this guy. is actually where I found them. <laughs> so they've been hanging out together. So these two are hanging out, having fun together. So that is cool. So I got that. Um, okay, what's next? So uh, Chris, uh, Christy from Kitchener Yarns. Um, I joined in on her peep, I think it's called. There's something in here that will tell me. The peep pack. So basically it comes with the pattern and you get a five millimeter crochet hook. You get two ribbon. I have a purple one. It fell in the bag here. Um, it comes with the pattern to make the peep. Comes with the stuffing and the pattern and the hook and everything. So it's like full on, um, full on package everything you're going to need so I got purple and a white got the stuffing in here and the yarn is down there and the hook is right there so she put this complete package together and I love that there's a hook and a darning needle in there plus the stuffing that I'm going to need so that is fantastic um, you guys should definitely check her out I'll link her down below and then there was this in there which I think is the one of her mystery packs of worsted weight yarn so, oh, you can see I got fluff all over me. Okay, so there is two skeins of this. Oh, and there's even a bracelet in the bottom I didn't even notice. <laughs> Shows you where I, my head's been at. I don't know if you can see it. Like, there's a bracelet in here. But I love this colored yarn. I think I'm going to use those to make a bunch of the octopus, too, because they're cute. And the color is neat. And anyway, so there's the pink, there's the white, and then there's this. I think that's what this is. Unless this is another peep pack that I bought and I'm not aware, I don't know. I buy a lot of her stuff, so I really lose my mind when I order stuff. And then I got, I also ordered this. So she has cookie cutters now on her webpage that you can order. So here, here's the cookie cutter. Okay, that is cool. Yarn ball. Who doesn't love a yarn ball? I'm probably just going to keep it as a cool knickknack. I'm not going to probably use it, but you can use it. it. says, if the dough is sticking to the cutter, try the following. Uh, use chilled dough. Cover the cutters in flour and cooking spray. Reapply as needed. Uh, do not flour the table surface when cutting. Let the cookie stick to the table. Uh, says, I don't know. Anyway, she has like a little instruction thing on there. Anyway, I'm not going to sit here and read it all because I'm slow over here. Anywho, so that's that. And of course, I did lie about only buying that yarn because why wouldn't I lie about it? Anywho, I also bought 
a yarn because I'm making a unicorn for my boss and she wanted it in purple. So I actually am making it purple, but I, I saw another color there that I had. I'm like, that would make a really cute unicorn for a kid. So I bought the brunette baby blanket in color confetti. It is so cute. So I got that. And then for the main, I decided now this to me, this is feels like butter, but it's not. It's Burnette Bundle Up. It feels like butter. I don't care what anybody says. This is the exact same as Feels Like Butter. It is now a Burnette Yarn Inspirations brand, but it's it's still the same yarn. I don't care. It works up the same. It is the same. It has not changed, but I love the color. So I got the yellow. So I'm good. So there is some yellow in there. So I'm gonna use the yellow for the main. So that's why I bought it. And I also bought, because I make a lot of amigurumi, I, I saw this baby, it's baby cakes yarn. This is the new stuff that's just out. And this is in, oh, whatever. It says white. It's not white. The label literally says white. That's not white. If that's white, then I need to seriously find a real white. Okay. This egg that Sandy sent is white. This is not white, but it says white. Anyway, I'm going to use this for skin tone for dolls because I think it's going to be a nice color to have for a doll's like skin color tone. So it says white, it's not white, but whatever. I'm not going to, whatever. 560 yards in these cakes. They are expensive. They're not on sale. They are $11.99, which kind of sucks, but it is what it is. You're going to do what you're going to do. You're going to buy what you're going to buy. And you're going to like it. Because it's yarn. <laughs> anyway. I will have more stuff to talk about. Hopefully. I am working a ton of hours. I'm not thrilled that I'm working so many hours. I'm I'm exhausted. I'm tired. I don't want to work as many hours as I'm working. This part-time job is turning into a lot more hours than I planned. Anyway. It is life. We all have to work. We all have to do crap we don't want to do. I will hopefully have more than just <laughs> it's my only finished object and we are at the end of February I've only got three squares for one make along done and this guy that's it this month has been very unproductive for me I'm hoping March will be more productive but I doubt it I will come back on um, probably in another day or two and show you guys the unicorn because I have to give it to my boss. It's for a baby gift, baby shower gift. So I will be back on with that finished object. It should be done. I have like the arms and legs and the eyes and the little details and the main left to do. So hopefully I'll get that done over the weekend. I will work on that. Um, if I forget to put something in the description box down below, I am sorry. Uh, my brain is all over the place. I will try my best. And if there is something that I said I'd mention or I said I'd put and I didn't, feel free to leave a comment down below and I will try my best to link it for you directly in your thing or I will edit and I will link it properly. Um, be patient with me. My brain, like I said, is all over the place right now. I'm just tired. <laughs> so, um, sorry guys, this is very long. I apologize. I'm babbling too much. Um, I'll let you guys go. I hope you enjoyed some of what you saw today. And if you didn't, I apologize. Uh, hopefully my content will get a little more steady and it'll be a little bit different within the next coming weeks. Um, I will see you guys again soon. I hope you all have a wonderful weekend and we'll talk soon. Take care.